poor little guy. As you know, Peanut the Squirrel got euthanized not too long ago. You know, the story is uh, this guy, Mark Longo, found him about seven years ago. Apparently, his the squirrel's mom had died, brought him home, lives in New York, you know, fostered him, loved him, turned him into a bit of an Instagram or YouTube sensation. And I think from what I understand, there was a woman in Texas who wasn't really thrilled with how much stardom or fame or celebrity or popularity Peanut the Squirrel was getting with this Mark Longo. <clears throat> and then apparently, you know, she called up some authority in New York State and they eventually did something, came over, basically treated them poorly, confiscated Peanut you know, came up with a story that he bit them and in order to actually test for rabies, they have to euthanize the squirrel. It just goes south from there. I don't really understand. You know, he was saying that he was in the process of paperwork to turn him into a, like, support pet that he could use to kind of show people or continue to care for the fact that, yes, he is on a do-not-own list, right? Can't own a squirrel. But he was also um, fostering a raccoon that apparently had been dropped off at his residence. He's running a horse sanctuary, nonprofit something. I think there's like 71 of them on the property that he's caring for. I've watched the videos, you know, they're super funny. And I just think it's sad that, you know, somebody's jealous, you know, pounds the door, finally gets authority off their butt. They basically, from what I've read, you know, surprised this Mark Longo, half a dozen of these animal people. I think they call it the MEC in New York State. Apparently put them in the girlfriend, put him and the girlfriend in a bathroom to kind of control them. Took the squirrel, took the raccoon, euthanized both of them. So I don't really understand why the world would do that. The guy's not hurting anybody. He's obviously bringing a bunch of joy to the world. You know, it, you know the videos I watched at times were kind of fun, you know. It's booting around the house. It's jumping on and off of them. It's helping them cook. They're eating. You know, the obviously the squirrel's cool, man. If the thing had rabies, you know, wouldn't it have bitten this Mark Longo guy and gotten him in a bit of trouble health-wise? So I'm not really sure, you know, didn't give the guy a chance to complete his paperwork to make the squirrel a support pet. I think that's where he was headed. Seven years, they've been building a relationship. Imagine if somebody just came in and ripped your cat or dog away or your bird away from you for really stupid reasons. I mean, how, how angry are we in this world? Couldn't we have a little more patience or compassion to just say, okay, you know what, we, we get it. You know, the squirrel was abandoned by the mother who apparently was killed, I think, from what I read, was hit by a car. And okay, you're going through the paperwork and, you know, we'll... We'll kind of let this one fly a bit. And yes, here's you've completed your paperwork. It's now a, a support pet. And maybe we'll monitor what's going on here a little more closely. But no, we have to be bullies in this world. Come in, rip the thing away from them. You know, there's a relationship there. That's pretty serious. Whether it's a squirrel, or, you know, it's like a cat or a dog or a bird or a fish or a reptile. So shame on New York State's animal authority people for, you know, not having a little more kindness for the investment that he had made for the last seven years and, you know, shared with the world. And uh, so hopefully, you know, he says he's not really happy about it and he's going to proceed with some legal action. So I'll continue to kind of watch what's going on and hopefully they can make some progress and, and you know, kind of understand uh, how they were treated because uh, it's just just sad. All we All we can do now is just watch videos of him when he was alive, which is not the same, knowing that he's kind of been killed, basically, right? Did you ever watch a Peanut video? And what do you think of these people up in New York State? I, I don't think they're very nice. You know, it's just sad.
So I thought I would just throw my two cents out there because uh, I don't agree with the way people are sometimes. And I feel bad for this Mark Longo guy. Anyways, not cool. And uh, we'll, we'll see you again. Bye.